Welcome. You want to watch British television outside the UK? Then you found the right video. I'm going to show you how to watch UK television anywhere abroad. First, I'm going to show you the problem with several TV channels. Afterwards, I show you the quick solution. And then I'm going to talk about the problem and solution in detail if you're interested in the explanation. So let's start. Let's go to the BBC iPlayer and maybe you already saw this message. This content is not available in your location. And also if I want to use the like just any video, not just the live stream, I get here an error message that I cannot watch the BBC iPlayer. Also, the ITV live stream does not work. It says, sorry, this video isn't available right now. Check, check out our so uh, show selection for more great programs. But I can assure you no video will work. Let's go to channel four then, my four. If I want to play a video here, it says not available. All four is only available in the UK. And here at my five, if I want to watch this video, for example, I also get an error message. We're sorry, but you must be located in the British Isles to view this content. And by the way, um, I, you also have to sign up also for the BBC and uh, ITV and so on. And if you don't want to use your own email, I suggest you use a 10 minute mail um, just Google it and then you can sign up to those pa uh, pages without using your own um, email address. Then let's go to BFI player. You know, it's an alternative to Netflix. Sadly, I don't have a Netflix account at the moment, so I cannot show you how this works, but it also works for sure. Um, here I want to watch this video and it also tells me location not authorized. And then also the TV player. If I want to watch something here, sorry, TV player is currently only available in the United Kingdom. So what can you do? Below this video, you will find a list with good VPN providers and just click on show more and you can see the whole list. I personally use Ex ExpressVPN. It's a paid service. I will talk about free VPNs after the explanation. ExpressVPN is available for all browsers, all devices, phones, whatever you want to install it on. They have software for it. And I'm just going to show you how easy this works. So let's assume I just finished watching some US television and now I want to watch British television. But I'm, I just want to show you here, I mean, even if you're if you want to watch Australian t television or um, any other country's television, then you can do this. And also in the United States, you can choose a lot of locations. So for example, if you have Netflix, you can you log into any location in the US and then you will be able to use the US Netflix library. Also, Canada is possible, but let's just go to the UK now. And I c as you can see, I can just click on the UK here, but this is what all people do. So um, what can be, what would be better is to just choose one which is not high on the list or just a random one. And if one does not work, then just choose another one, right? So now I tried the UK Wembley server and I connect to it. And one big advantage of ExpressVPN is that now I'm completely encrypted and secure on a military level on the internet. And of course, I enter the internet in the UK. So for all intents and purposes, like the websites will think I'm in the UK. Let's just reload the iPlayer live stream. And as you can see, it's loading. If I and you can see I can watch it now. Let's retry this page, N line of duty. Let's click here 
uh, turn on parental guidance, blah, 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 but, well, yeah, let's just play it. So, as you can see, I can it watch, well, okay, this is the trailer, but as you can see, I can watch it. I, I'm not allowed to show you a lot of the, the programs because then I will get in trouble with YouTube copyright infringements and then you will not be able to see this video. But as you can see here, ITV is also working. Then let's reload this page from channel four. Play. And as you can see, no more error message. Now I see advertising, but well, there's one minute of advertising. I don't wanna wait so long, but you can see it works. And um, I'm reloading the My5 page also. Let's see if I can watch Around the World by train. Well, yeah. Looks like at least I can, I can the watch surface. the advertising and afterwards I can watch the video. And you'll see. Then let's retry the BFI player, History of Plymouth. It's kind of funny that this is restricted only to the UK, but I guess only people in the UK would want to watch this, right? But um, as you can see, it works now and it should also work with other programs on, on the BFI player. Then let's try this with the TV player. And as you can see, now it's Exciting also working. As I mentioned before, below in the description, you find a list with good VPNs, which will unblock geo-blocked websites. This should work for all UK TV channels and also Netflix. And you can install this on all devices, so you shouldn't have any problems. Why can't you watch UK television outside the UK? This is called geoblocking, a form of internet censorship. And you can read up on it on Wikipedia if you like. It's basically that every website can see exactly where you're coming from, where you are entering the internet and a lot more. And also your internet service provider, of course, sees everything you're doing online, every web website you visit, every video you watch or download. So, um, it's kind of scary that you know you're quite transparent if without using an encryption service. So the solution is a virtual private network. Virtual just means that you don't have to lay a cable all the way to the UK and get an internet connection there in order to create your private network in order to watch UK television. This is all virtual. That means over the internet and there are certain providers that offer this service. I already mentioned below in the description, you find a good list. So except unlocking geo-blocked websites worldwide, there are many other advantages. You can surf the net fully encrypted, anonymous and secure. And as you might know, service providers in many countries are logging exactly what you're doing and storing the information for several months up to I think the, the, the longest time I heard about was six months in several countries, even in Switzerland. Surprisingly, some companies store the info quite, um, quite a long time. And also if you use Wi-Fi hotspots, it's safer to, you and to use them with an encrypted connection via VPN. By the way, in the US, I think the internet service providers are even allowed to sell the information they gather from your browsing history. The good thing about VPNs is also that the good ones don't log any data about you. They have an in easy installation on all devices and browsers. You can use your VPN with many devices simultaneously. But one quick warning, well, actually it's, it's not like any uh, big problem, but if you connect suddenly to the other side of the world and are suddenly encrypted and anonymous on the internet and then try to log into your Google account, for example, Google will send you a warning. It's like, hey, you know, someone from this and this location just try to log into your Google account. Don't worry, don't panic. You just have to remember that, yes, you just logged into, you know, whatever location suddenly and Google just wants to make sure that it's not a hacker. 
but you have to remember that yes you just you know connected your internet to uh, via a VPN in this in this country and then Google will give you a warning so you just have to say like yes that was me and verify that it's you and then it shouldn't be a problem what about free VPNs as you can imagine providing internet connections in many countries just simply costs money also programming software is not so easy so there's always a problem with free VPNs if you don't trust me just google it like here there are some articles why free VPNs could be so dangerous on CNET or if you prefer Newsweek free VPN is uh, severe security risk so basically free VPNs always come with a lot of problems um, usually they're quite slow usually they spam you with a lot of spam in w bad cases they can make your device accessible by hackers and in, uh, also in some cases they use your internet connection to provide the um, access point for other users of this and uh, the free VPN and if they do something illegal the police will question you first good VPNs have a lot of advantages they have super fast servers in many countries and even several servers in the same country as you saw there are lots of servers in the UK and much much more in the US because many people want to use the US television services Sometimes one server doesn't work anymore and then you just switch to the next one. They don't have active logs. They have easy to use apps, plugins and software, which is a big plus. I tried several VPN services and the software is often the big problem. They have high security encryption, unlimited bandwidth and they work with premium websites such as Netflix and so on. There are many cheap and free VPNs which simply don't work with those premium websites. So, well, you know, they're dangerous and they often don't work. Even with the BBC iPlayer, there are many VPNs that simply don't work anymore. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I hope you can finally watch British television again, no matter where you are on this planet.